I want to talk more about focus because in my life, I've been following you for a while. You've been following me. We had a good time going a lot of places, a lot of opportunities. I know all things are possible. And like you were talking earlier about Esther saying, well, but I have this place to go to in this house or these people and that people and making choices. And sometimes I have so many options and choices, I'm trying to feel where's the best one. And you talk about focus to just focus on that for a while and you'll get those things. But even in all those choices, the point that we were making with this story that we told about Esther and our subsequent conversation with her, in all of those choices, even though there are a myriad of choices as presenting itself, there is a distinct path of least resistance even among all of those. There is. There always is. You can source it out. And what happens to me, and this is the part I don't understand about myself that I'd like to have more clarity on, is I understand I can connect to the power of all the universe, and I create worlds. And why do I choose to go off this and this, and I don't have that clarity and that focus to one thing? What you're defining is a step five moment, which is a good thing. In other words, step one, two, three. Not step one, and then step two, step three, Two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, 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 forevermore. Three, 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 forevermore. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, 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 five, which means one. Don't beat up on yourself for the contrast. It means you're still alive in your physical body. It means you're still consciously wanting expansion. It means you're wanting to be in on the conscious expansion. You're wanting to be part of the dialogue, part of the understanding. If you get a solution to a problem you never defined, the solution will not be satisfying. The answer to a question that you have not ask and define is not satisfying that's why we're appreciating the group sometimes when someone is asking something with real intensity and we're going deeper than their question goes sometimes so the answer isn't nearly as satisfying if you have not had the luxury and the experience and the advantage of really defining the question so by having things that you're wondering about or asking about oh then the sweet spot is so much sweeter as it begins to fill in and I feel that and the thing sometimes I don't feel like I'm getting all that I could is if I spent more time focusing that's on all right you'll go back and you'll make another loop around it that's why step five matters so much you following this we haven't talked to you all about it so contrast causes you to have that asking moment step one source answers instantaneously the moment that you define something your inner being becomes one with it it's a done deal in the vibrational world step three is you getting into the vortex or you getting into the receiving mode so that you're receptive of what your inner being now knows about this and that's when the progress really begins to happen that's when the sweet spot really becomes sweet and then I get another thought and I change my mind and so it doesn't seem like it manifests totally because I think, well, maybe I'd like him to be a little bit darker or shorter. Or, and then, okay, send him away. <laughs> she wants this one. And so then that it starts the process over again. And I get more information and they say, oh, but I think it should be warmer. Or I think it should have more whipped cream on it. And then all of a sudden it's like that new thought. I have so many new thoughts that it's almost like they stop. Okay, give her a new one. Here's a question that we have for you, and we think that it's going to get right to the heart of what you're reaching for. And in this day, with this conversation that we've just had, this is for you. Do you trust your now? Yes. Then those, what you are calling whims, you didn't call it, but you meant it, when you are wanting to be hard on yourself for not following through with something, when a path of lesser resistance has shown itself to you, why do you feel like you may be... And that's what I just think I had that realization when she was up here is none of it matters. All it matters is alignment and now, alignment and now, and alignment and now. And if I want chocolate and I want this and I want, it doesn't matter, alignment and now. So we have some questions for you and you're all going to like this. So let's say that there are several things that you like, relationships, physical experiences. Let's just say that there are five or 10 of them that you like. And in your now, you're experiencing that one rather than that one and you're really liking it. Or that one instead of that one, are you really liking it? Does it really matter which one you're experiencing of these things if you're really liking it? No. Really enjoying it? Does it really matter? So since there's no lack, 
and since there isn't anything that needs to be accomplished and since the whole thing is about alignment and since you're really feeling alignment in your experiencing of that then there's nothing being missed or nothing being left out because from all of this that you like you're having an experience that is really pleasing to you so all's good would you agree with that and that's how I'm living so let's take this a little deeper let's acknowledge that through life that you have been defining precisely for yourself from the moment that you came into this physical body and even some before you got here of what you want and your vortex is full of all of that information so there are all of these things that you like emotions relationships accomplishments material objects there's a mixture far greater than this buffet that we just spread out for you there's all of these things that you like and some of them are more evolved some of them more cooperative components all of them have evolved faster than your ability to keep up with them so everything that's there for you is available to you if and when you are available to it you got to meet it so what difference does it really make are you really saying I know there's something more for me and I know I'm not ready for it so I'm just gonna be mad at myself for not being ready or mightn't you just want to enjoy what you're ready for on your way to readiness for more of what you've put there because every time without exception that you choose a lack full focus that I should be doing something else or there are better choices that I'm not making you disconnect you take yourself out of the receptive mode and the moment then the now doesn't feel so good and I think that's why I appreciate you so much because I was brought up goal-oriented focus work hard you know try your best and do all that and of all of that there's one thing that prevails in our conversation with you which one is it alignment focus <laughs> not the work hard not the try hard but the focus the focus but not focusing for the success focusing for the pleasure focusing for the feeling of alignment you've heard us say we've said it so many times you have three powerful intentions that you came into this experience with of freedom and growth and joy and if your emphasis is upon the joy if you're focused upon the joy part of that triad because freedom is naturally given to you so free you can choose bondage and expansion is inevitable you can't get away from that no matter what but you do have the option of whether you focus for pleasure of alignment or for the struggle of satisfying someone else so now where are you in my vortex there's little things you want like a hot fudge sundae and there's big things like a Nobel Prize you know you have different levels of focus that you want and so sometimes I think the part that I get a little bit again beat up on myself is well it's easy to get the hot fudge Sunday, but I don't have that focus to get the Nobel Peace Prize but I is it because I really don't want it it's it not isn't that moment. you don't have the focus because you do it's that you give up the focus because you think it's big or you think it's harder or you think there should be more struggle in it when we say it is as easy to create a castle as a button we mean it it's all dependent only upon what you're focusing upon we know that you would say of course it's logical that when you leave this gathering that it would be quite easy for you to go find hot fudge Sundays easily and it might be a little more time consuming to go stake your claim on a Nobel Prize we get that but it's that logic that causes you to shoot yourself in the foot and you can take as much pleasure from one as the other and when you are taking complete pleasure when you've decided not to put yourself down because of the unproductive nature of the hot fudge Sunday, <laughs> when you've decided not to make a comparison which is mostly lackful driven about this being way more important than that then you don't activate all of those vibrations that cause you to mess up your synergy or your alignment in your now your turn <laughs> you're a very thoughtful girl and you like an active mind and you take a lot of pleasure from your thought and you get a lot of results from the thoughts that you think and now you are at the place where most things that most people give thought to and receive come rather easily into place and so now this comparative nature is making you think well now I should reach for greater things and what we want you to hear from us and come to trust is that those greater things are already in your vortex and your satisfaction with hot fudge Sundays will lead you there 
But when you comparatively challenge yourself or discount yourself by thinking you're doing something frivolous instead of something important, then you don't allow the momentum to expand or to happen. And that's where I feel I'm getting better and better and better. No it's question. just now, this is now, this is now, have a good time, enjoy life, it's all coming. And if it, and this is it, there is no getting to somewhere, there is no getting to a place, there's no accumulating anything, it's, this is all you get. And having a good time for you means a lot of different things. Having a good time means having a clarifying moment. Having a good time means feeling the energy move. The subject doesn't matter, it's the way it feels within it, you see. And I think that's why I love this so much because it's not about the thing. It's about, I don't want the thing really. I want the, uh, to, to get to the thing. So we have a question for you, for all of you, but you're here closer. <laughs> and you stirred this up. <laughs> Let's use the analogy of the hot fudge Sunday. If you were being called to it and you were in an environment like this where you could be five minutes out the door and have one in your hand. And it would be giving you whatever satisfaction that your desire and your allowing equaled. But let's say instead that you are and have been out in the desert for days and you have a hankering for a hot fudge Sunday, <laughs> and you feel this inspiration coming over you and you follow this inspiration and it leads you to this and to that and to this and to that and this and to that we'll let you all make the movie and you discover in the sand something that looks like a vortex <laughs> it'll be a good movie and you dig a little and you find a steel thing with a screw off lid that has dry ice in it and a hot fudge sundae Which hot fudge Sunday would you claim the greatest success in? The one in the desert. And therein lies your problem. <laughs> because you believe that struggle and hardship is necessary to get what you want. So the stuff that comes easier to you, you discount it, you don't revel in it, you don't love it, you don't accept it as evidence of your worthiness. And I found that you said this once before, and for me sometimes it's part of it, is I like the thoughts in my mind. So to me, to find a hot fudge Sunday in the desert would be more fun than I can just find it easily. So sometimes I choose that. Well, maybe you like the challenge, and that's okay. Maybe you like the faster momentum, and that's okay. We're just saying that there is this effort factor, there is this challenge factor, there is this belief that many of you have been dragging around with you for a long time that does not serve you very well, that says, the more struggle that is within it, then the more I'm deserving of the prize. And it prevents you from the easy flow because you have never been in a position where you were needing to prove your worthiness for anything through your effort or through your struggle, only through your focus. So if your focus is bringing you the satisfaction, and we want you to know the difference between what's going on between those of you who are finding the least satisfaction and those of you who are finding the most satisfaction is the subject of focus. It's a subject of allowing the momentum to grow on your behalf, you see. And so if you can get the struggle out of the equation a little bit, then we think this was a powerful conversation. And the thing about focus, and I want to just end with that for you to really clarify that for me, to say, okay, when I'm focusing on something, and you say, we just have to focus on that for a moment. And you're saying to me, that would mean I'm sitting thinking about that thing. We don't mean that because what we mean by focus is you're going to hear this in a way you have not heard it before. Let's say you have a thousand subjects that you're focusing on today. A thousand. Usually. <laughs> but let's say you've got a thousand subjects that you're focusing on today. And 999 of them are not preventing you from this one. And the other 999 are not preventing you from this one. You've got a thousand things that you're focusing upon today. The only thing that could hinder you on any one of those thousand things that you're focusing on is an opposite thought about one of them. It's the train going that way and that way at the same time that keeps you from garnering or gathering the momentum of the thought. So having a lot to do isn't preventing you from succeeding. It's the contradictory thought. It's the struggle you put in it that slows it down.